Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So today is World Hearing Day, and you're going to see a very interesting series of cases. Uh, this will be live on my new Facebook timeline because my old Facebook was hacked by the hackers, and so we can't reactivate it. So I have created a new account. If you want to join me, then you can be my friend because we'll be doing all the live hereafter in the new Facebook account. <clears throat> now, uh, we are starting with uh, ear surgery. This patient is a 21-year-old boy who presents with history of blood-stained ear discharge for the past five years. And uh, this patient has <clears throat> also uh, got a hearing loss, tinnitus, and uh, I'm going to show you the uh, audiogram first, share screen. First the finding, then the uh, Okay, share screen. Okay, so he, this is the uh, finding of this patient. You can see here that the patient has a uh, attic cholesterotoma. And uh, as we see that the past tensa is intact. <coughs> you can see here that the uh, uh, attic uh, cholesterotoma is there, past tensa is uh, intact, and uh, this patient, the left ear is uh, painted draped, ready? So I'm going to start. Now let us see the audiogram. Now, this is the audiogram. The patient has got a mixed hearing loss. So imagine uh, this patient has been roaming around for many, many years, for at least five years now, without uh, you know being operated. I think it's the patient's fault because the patient, uh, whenever some doctor says surgery, he runs away. So maybe he landed up uh, on the World Hearing Day to us, but I'm not very sure if I can you know, improve this hearing because it's a nice mixed hearing loss. And in cholesterotoma, the reason for this is because the uh, toxins enter into the round window and they produce a mixed hearing loss. Now, let us see the scan. Now, you can see here that, uh, okay. Now, you, this is the uh, scan. Let us read it from above downwards. You can see the, uh, why is it so dull, ma? Okay, now this is the, uh, from above downwards, you can see the superior semicircular canal, the signet ring appearance, you can see here, that's the internal acoustic meatus, facial nerve, cochlea is here, and that's the, uh, uh, you see that's the, uh, the malleus is eroded, ossicles are all eroded, and you can see the sinus tympani filled with uh, uh, some, uh, you know, granulations or some soft tissue, and you can see that uh, the, uh, I think the ossical, the step is maybe intact, but it's so small, I'm not able to see. But definitely the malleus, the incus uh, uh, is necrosed, body of incus is necrosed. And uh, you can see that uh, the patient also has a <coughs> high jugular bulb. And uh, you can see here that uh, this is the carotid artery. The facial nerve is here. You can see that very clearly here, the facial nerve. and. Uh, so the uh, mastoid bowel is uh, actually um, small and uh, we are going to uh, do an inside out mastoidectomy for this case, straightforward inside out mastoidectomy and we will see what we can do for this uh, gentleman. Okay. So let us go back to this case and we are going to start the surgery now. Get ready to see the first case, an MRM, modified radical mastoidectomy, inside out technique, and that to the C technique, which uh, I have been shouting about for the past many, many years. This is uh, 
my own uh, technique and uh, let's see how fast we can finish. After this, we have a tumor involving the cavernous sinus going into the superior orbital fissure. It looks like a mucosal, I'm not very sure, uh, but it's a costosis, second nerve, third nerve, sixth nerve, fourth nerve palsy. Patient is from Dubai. Just want to tell a few announcements. So we are going to start our uh, consultations in Dubai shortly, and uh, that will be uh, announced. Royal Pearl, in collaboration with a, a, a hospital, is going to start my. Uh, I'm going to start my uh, consultations there, uh, for because we have a lot of overseas patients coming here. Same way, we will be starting a few more Royal Pearls this year. Uh, in uh, and uh, let us see. So we have been joined by many, uh, just a nice crowd. It's okay, but it will be live on uh, Facebook. We'll see how fast we can finish a uh, uh, mastoid, and that too uh, with precision, with complete precision. Okay, I'm going to wash up, and I'll be starting the case in another two, three minutes.
So, dear friends, I'm going to start the live surgery. This is being done under GA, general anesthesia, because the patient requested for general. Usually, I do all my ear cases under local anesthesia. And uh, this is being done under GA. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, start the case now. From the incision, you just note the time. Take off my glasses. Okay, now this is the ear. You can see that very clearly. Yeah. Uh, just want to slight fake focus. Yeah. Okay, infiltration. So I'm going to give infiltration 10, 10, 10 solution. 10 cc of distilled water. 10 cc of 2% plain xy uh, xylocaine. And uh, 10 drops of adrenaline. So this is 2, and a, two cc. I given two blocks. One is the greater auricular nerve. Second is the lesser occipital nerve. Next, this is the periosteum. Periosteum, three infiltrations for periosteum. And then auriculotemporal. Now, and then superficial four quadrant. Now, Risberg. And then deep auricular nerve. Mm. So these are all the blocks you give. It, uh, the block should be given like the GA only. No, sorry, like the local only. Don't. Uh, speculum. Next is a speculum. Uh, suction, please. Now we'll be regularly demonstrating ear cases to you. So far, I have not demonstrated ear at all to you, but hereafter, we'll be regularly demonstrating implants. Actually, we have three implants, and all these are coming in two days. We will we will do it live. Actually, for the World Hearing Day, I should have demonstrated implants, but it's okay. Uh, I'll demonstrate some ear cases, and then maybe two, three days later, I will demonstrate the three implants. Okay. Now, here we are. This is the deep quadrant infiltration for the deep auricular nerve. This is very important infiltration for local anesthesia. Now, let us enough. I just gave 6 cc, that's all. Now, the time exactly is 10.40. You can watch the time. I'm going to start now. See, for graft taking, it is exactly 3 minutes. You see here. I keep my hand here. This is the postural groove. See that, I start like this, and then I go here. That's the auricularis posterior muscle. I go slightly around half to one centimeter above the pinna, okay? Now, the next is artery forceps directed downwards. One, two, only two times you do. Number, next step is I apply a three prong retractor, then artery forceps directed upwards. See here. Now I go here, I pull that retractor, artery forceps directed upwards. And after that, you just have to do this. That's all. Now, after that, you take the diathermy, you hold that artery, and then cut the soft tissue above the graft layer. No, no. I go this side again. So as I told you yesterday, for the MRM, you should take a big graft. Okay, right. Now the next step is reapplication of three prong retractor. Next application of two prong retractor. This is small hair. Good. Now, the next step is forceps. Taking off the false fascia. This is the false fascia. See that. See the sweep. This is a sweep. It's called the sweep. Sweep of the miles. So, the false fascia went off. 
See how beautiful the fascia looks. Many people take the fascia, put it on the uh, uh, the glass slide and keep prak, 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 for five minutes. All that is to me bakwas. Now, uh, infiltration. Okay, that is the fascia. You see, fat is always there. So, in MRM, you can take that, but in Meringo, I don't take that. See here. Now, see such a big graft. See that. Many people, they just put that uh, retractor and all. To me, I think exposure, exposure, exposure. See the fat there. Can you see, Deepak? We have some brilliant residents. Dr. Deepak is helping me out. And uh, we are also being joined from uh, doctor. What is your name, doctor? Dr. Sandeep from uh, Andhra Pradesh has come here just to observe. And also we have some residents from Italy, Milan. And uh, they are all in the other theater, in fact. A thyroid is going on. Now you can see here, see the time now, exactly two and a half minutes by clock. And the graft is uniform, very big. Uh, okay, ready? Now, step two. This is end of step one. Step two. Step two is exposure. Step two is exposure. Now see here. I start with exposure here, almost completely bloodless. You can see here. Now you palpate, and then uh, the kind of reconstruction you want to do, you can plan. See, that's the vessel. Go just behind the vessel so that you don't have a bleed here. This is the vessel from the floor of the temporalis muscle. Now you'll find fat here. Yeah, you'll find fat here. Go along that fat. Very, very important, my dear friends. Or else you'll have the bleeding there. So you can see how my left hand is working in tandem with my right hand. Always elevate till the 12 o'clock position. See here. I'm going till the 12 o'clock position. Can you see that? Deepak. See that? Now clear. Okay, finished. Almost done. And now I'm just going to use a gauze piece. Mm, finished. Give me the gauze piece. Now I'm just going to elevate the posterior flap. That's the periosteum uh, elevator. Sometimes it's uh, very adherent, so I might use a uh, miles. But here, be careful because there's a vein underneath the temporalis muscle, which can actually bleed. Okay, that's beautiful now. If you're on the right plane, it doesn't bleed. Very, very important to be in the right plane. Okay, now knife. Now I'm going to start my incision. This is the periosteum, this is the skin. So at the level of the periosteum skin junction, you make the incision, you can see here, and just go inside the canal. You can see I've gone inside the canal. Can you see that clearly? Deepak, bipolar ready. You might have a little bleeder here. You should have your bipolar ready. So you see, you have to see this amount, the circumference of the canal you incise. Oh, give me. Artery. Hey, blade which will add other. Now see here, I'm putting that artery, looping the pinna anteriorly, taking that three-prong retractor, reapplying that three-prong retractor. One more retractor, please. And then I'm putting my two-prong retractor. See the exposure. Very, very important, my dear friends. The exposure should be very good. Again and again, I say. The next step is removing the posterior canal wall. You already had a polyp here. Hmm. 
Now you take that skin like this. So this skin will be used at the end of the surgery as a free skin flap. I'm telling you free skin flaps take very well. Always remember that. Especially in mastoid surgery. See how I'm elevating with the knife, not rosens here. You don't use rosens, plaster and all. It's a waste of time. See, this is used as a free skin flap. See here, gone. Okay. Now having done that, now, this is a temporal squamous suture line. See, it's a prominent temporal squamous suture line. Give me irrigation. So, the exposure is over. How many minutes does it take? It took another two and a half minutes. Okay. And then the next segment three starts with a good irrigation. Here is where we irrigate, 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 fanatically irrigate. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see the Finding here, you can see the cholesterol here. You can see the cholesterol. Can you see the cholesterol, all of you? Can you see the cholesterol? Is it clear? Wait, let me adjust my IP. Okay, so very clearly seen cholesterol here. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to start the C technique. I have gone on telling about the C technique many, many times. Now, how do you start the C technique? It starts from the 12 o'clock position uh, with a conical bar. You can see it starts from here, ends here. So the, the sweep is a single direction sweep. You see here. You can collect the bone dust also, but now I'm not going to do it. I'm going to see how much extensive this cholestoma is. According to the scan, there was an extensive cholestoma uh, involving the mastoid bowel. It is an extensive cholestoma. <laughs> now you see the C technique. You go lateral to the where are you? You are going lateral to the annulus. Can you see? Deepak. Give me bipolar now. Can you see the cholesterol here? All of you in the posterior canal wall. Yeah. Uh, bipolar, please. By, by foot switch. See that, that part of the soft tissue. Take it off. If you drill there, it will bleed. Okay, hey, mm. okay, that's perfect. That's bipolar now. You can see the cholesterol very clearly, my dear friend. Can you see? Yes or no? Now you can see the cholesterol. You see, don't do anything to the cholesterol. Just keep doing the C technique. See that? See how the cholesterol is going till the level of the Tip cells, can you see? Don't jump for the cholesterol now. You understand? That's a cavity which we saw in the scan, very clearly seen here as well. Now this boy, hmm. come on, come on, come on, see? Now, I have taken three minutes for my drilling so far. See that? See, don't go and jump onto the cholesterol again and again. I tell the same thing. See the edge of the cholesterol, what do you find? Granulation. And always make a obtuse cavity. Not a acute cavity. You understand? Yes or no? You have to go till the edge of the cholesterol. You understand? See, that is the facial ridge. You understand? See how nicely we are able to do that. 
now after doing that you have to expose the dural plate can you see i am not at all bothered about the colostoma now what everybody would have done they would have tried to remove that meddle with that like a monkey i am talking only about the very very junior people once they see colostoma they are a little excited don't see that's a colostoma ah, biopsy now you see here always retain the medial wall of the colostoma always drill the tympanic plate i, I have told you several times this one drill the hey romba utadra laita laita ut see the facial ridge can you see the facial bridge also you can see that this is called the 221 drilling you understand is it in uh, my view my dear friend see extensive colostoma can you see evlo per irukanga ma ha always expose the sinodural angle and you should all see the kind of exposure i never went in for revising my exposure this is very very important my dear friend if you go back to revising your exposure you sh that is that means you are wrong you done that step wrong anything you want to go and revise is a wrong step see the sinodural angle can you see that clearly my dear friends now uh, give me good irrigation see that see that uh, give me now the diamond burr so whenever i have a little bleeding what i'll do is i'll just take a diamond burr without irrigation i'll just just swipe it that's all come 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 quick quick see ah uh, Ah, uh, don't irrigate! Don't irrigate! Just this is only for hemostasis, and never use diamond bar over colostoma. Reason is, you will drive that colostoma inside, producing a temporal bone colostoma. You understand? Always use cutting bar. Okay, now give me a good wash. Ah, huh? give me the cutting bar now. see here now i have almost gone till the sinodural angle here i have gone till the tip a little bit more and the pars tensa is intact see the extensive colostoma all of you can you see that clearly my dear friends don't bother about that medial wall even now don't bother you have to excise it in a single piece now i am going for the scutum see the scutum as we saw in the scan the ossicles were eroded see that see 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 how nicely you are going towards the anterior epitympanic recess you understand see this is the level of the colostoma so you know where the facial facial nerve is the facial nerve is protected by the colostoma so that's why i always say have the see that's the sentinel cell here posterior tympanotomy cell you understand my dear friends this is a tympanic plate can you see very beautiful hmm. now a little bit more here of the drilling of the cog that's a cog you understand see i'm i'm seeing a change in the sound of the burr see here now all of you put your ear and and notice it wait wait see here see okay see here can you see you will see the change in the sound if there's a change in the sound what does it mean you are near the dural plate 
we are very near the dura you understand so you have to observe change in sound change in color <clears throat> now i think i've done everything with a single bar i didn't change my bar at all did you see that now i'm just going to take right till the tip because the cholesterol is going towards the tip can you see here now always try to drill the tympanic plate i have told you hundreds of times uh, now i am going for the diamond bar i am now going for the diamond bar so now only i am changing to the diamond bar can you see my dear friends all of you so how many minutes did i drill around 7 minutes exactly and i have finished the mrm now i am trying to expose the sinus tympani see 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 so this is the this is the uh, this one cholestoma and now i am reducing the facial ridge exactly at that level of the can you see my dear friends that tympanic plate okay now you can see here i didn't do anything that's all my dear friends now having done that i'm now happy a little bone is there the cog is there i have to remove the cog okay some more see the i'm able to see the anterior ligament of malleus i can see the anterior ligament of malleus okay fine now i am ready for the cholestoma now give me a cotton ball good cotton ball or uh, yeah give me this give me this now what i will do is i'll just try to secure a little hemostasis okay i'm polishing this. this is all granulation not cholestoma see the dura is uh, dehiscent posterior fossa dura is dehiscent don't bother you will not injure the dura if you take a diamond bar you understand irrigate now irrigate this is the sd angle okay patient is light my dear friend bala patient is light patient is light this is a deep uh, tip cells tip cells okay that's the deep tip cells ah oh, right now can you give me the hockey okay fine i want a smaller diamond my dear friend can you see everything exposed now all of you any doubt so far give me elevator now i am now going to elevate from the edge of the cholestoma see that that's the edge of the cholestoma don't leave behind any see see how beautifully we are able to elevate from the deep part the reason is because we have done the exposure properly if you have not done the exposure you can't do this see that now oh, pretty deep. now that's the dural plate see how beautiful like a dosa we call the indian pancake the principle of traction and counter traction you should not leave behind any part of the cholestoma now at the level of the lateral canal i always leave a little bit of the cholestoma i don't remove it at the level of the lateral canal why of course the ct the pictures were very small i didn't get a dicom they have done it outside so i couldn't see the status and all so if i ask for another ct they'll run away anyway i see that intraoperatively my planning is proper 
Okay, now we can see here that's the peri labyrinthine cells. Can you see that clearly, my dear friends? See how beautifully it's coming out. See that? Wow. Wow. This is all because of the exposure. See that? Going inside now. Don't worry, we'll remove that later. That is the lateral canal. I'm not going to do anything here because I'll do that last. You understand? Now let me go for the, so I have a little cholestoma over the lateral canal, a little cholestoma in there. Give me a smaller suction tip now. Now I'm going to elevate that over the, see my hands, how gentle your hand should be when you elevate. Young boy. Okay, now, uh, now I'm going for the stapes. Now I'll go for higher power. See, I've left behind cholesterol here and there, I know. This is the parse tensa. Can you see? Now, you see that is the annulus. Can you see the annulus here, all of you? That is the annulus. Can you see? There's a little pus there. I'm opening up the middle here. See that? Ah, now all this should be drilled off. You should be able to see that very clearly. Ah, now I'm not going to do anything here. First of all, I want to secure this flap. Ah, give me a plaster. And I'm going to reduce the facial ridge. You understand? Plaster's elevator. See here. See, see the analyst. Can you see? My dear friends. See, that's the tympanic bone. That is the hypotympanum. See that. Now I elevated that analyst. Now I will drill all that out. Uh, drill. Okay, here we are. The first step is I want to drill the facial uh, ridge. Always you have to drill the tympanic plate. This is something I keep, 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 keep telling. This is the tip cells. My suction tip bigger. Now you see how beautiful the cavity is turning out to be. See, that's black cholestatosis. Okay, right. That's it. It's still going, man. The tip cells are going down. If you have a tip cell like this, no, you have to obliterate. You can't leave behind such a big tip cell because there will be what is called the sumping effect. You understand? Dump. It'll 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 uh, be like a. Uh, now, can you give me a bigger uh, diamond because this is not good. I need to. Drill with a bigger diamond. Now you see, this is the area of target for me. I'm going to expose that facial now completely. Hmm. Okay, ready. Now see here. Oh. Now this is where I'm going to concentrate now because this is one area where you can have a problematic mastoid cavity. Now I can see the analyst very clearly. This patient has got a mixed hearing loss. As you all know. A severe mixed hearing loss. Okay, now you can see here. See the analyst now. Can you all see that? Now I'm going to drill off this ridge in such a way that I'll try to combine and make it into a straight line. 
See, I'm almost close to the facial now here. The facial now generally turns like this, okay? So if you get the diagastric ridge, see how much we have reduced the facial ridge. Can you see that? It's almost nil. My dear friends, can you see that? Now see, almost zero. Now, this is the level of the facial now here. I can see that very clearly here, but I can reduce a little bit more here. So this is very important, my dear friends, to reduce the facial ridge completely. You should not have even a small hump. If you have that, you are into trouble. Get my point, my dear friends? See that. I'm doing that with diamond just because I want to show the juniors don't use the cutting here. Of course, I do it in a regular case with the cutting. Now, can you see that? Almost completely reduced. Give me a smaller smaller diamond now. Give me a good wash. Can you see that, my dear friends? Uh, irrigate, 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 irrigate. Good irrigation. Good. Now, what are the next steps which I have to do? So keep irrigating. See that? See that retrofacial cells. This is the synodural. Uh, smaller diamond, please. Now I'm going to go, going to the sinodural angle. There's a small, yeah, overhang here. So I want to, so first you take care of the cavity. You understand my dear friends? So this is the first step. I'm happy about it. That's the dural plate. I'm happy about it. That's the SD angle. So what is underneath this is the superior petrosal sinus. You understand? In lateral skull base, I think I showed you in two days back when we did the acoustic neuroma. Correct? Now I want to remove this granulation tissue as well. There's a small granulation. That's the dura. See, the dura is completely decent. Take off all this granulation tissue. Now, I'm now going here. This is a dangerous area because you have to expose this cholesterol. And you are very close to the semicircular canals. See that, see that, see that. See that. Can you see that, all of you? So I'm hugging the dural plate. Okay, now I've gone to the edge of that cholestoma. I am more towards the dural plate because I can use the dural plate better rather than to use the area of the semicircular canal. You understand my point? So, okay. So that's the superior semicircular canal. Clearly seen. Now give me a hockey. Now I'm going to show you the clearance of the perilabyrinthine cells. Hmm. Give. Now having done that, you can see here. Can you see here, my dear friends? Yes or no? See the perilabyrinthine cells clearance. Okay. Now that will be very close to the Facial nerve, be very careful. See, whenever I go near the facial nerve, my hockey is directed upwards. See, that's the facial nerve going there. Don't worry about that. Okay. All right. Now, having done that, 
now i'm going towards the so lateral canal i have left behind a little okay now i'm going towards the middle ear can you see my dear friends so what should i do now i have to expose the sinus tympani you understand the point see now see see that's the facial now can you see here all of you see see the facial now my embakandrup always always when you do sinus tympani drilling till the patient la there kutum till the patient towards you this is very 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 important my dear friends if you have a tilt away then sometimes you can hit the facial now that's the sinus tympani drilling this is called diving technique see that see the facial now here can you see that my dear friends see that very beautifully seen hey romba utadama that's a pyramid romba utada light out okay so i drilled a little bit of the pyramid also now smaller suction tip now i'm going to do the foot plate clearance okay i am going to do what foot plate clearance you see here i will show you how i do the foot plate clearance see here see such an extensive cholestoma see here that's a that's a foot plate can you see here my dear friends see that's a facial now here you go along the facial now see that see the foot plate can you see my dear friends this is how i do the foot plate clearance okay so i think there's a little bit of the see the cartilage of the incudostapital joint can you see here cartilage usually is the last to get eroded see the round window here can you see yes or no give me a cotton ball now see never use cotton balls for dissection some people do that but i don't i mean now the the world is going towards sharp dissection not towards blunt blunt is old technique if you see skull base also they say when you use blunt dissection you are around 5 10 years older uh the reason is the sharp dissection see that now i'm keeping the cotton ball here that's the perilabyrinthine cells uh Now see here. That is the posterior tympanic sinus. Can you see that clearly, my dear friends? Foot plate. Uh, give me a small, small cotton ball again. What is this? This is a process cochlear reformus. Can you see here, my dear friends? Can you see the tendon? Yes or no? There's a little bit over the facial. See the facial now is dehiscent. Can you see here? and some people are scared don't do see see the vessel that is the petrosal branch of the middle meningeal artery see that is how the facial now goes that's the first geno and it turns towards labyrinthine segment there okay all that anatomy you should know see here i'm opening up the anterior epitympanum you understand that's the anterior epitympanum can you see here now what i'm going to do ah uh, ombaka drupigo now you go towards away from you ah uh, Scissors, uh, give me a cotton ball. I'll place the cotton ball over the foot plate. Ma, is there only a normal saline? Okay, good. That's just normal saline cotton ball over the foot plate. Now, what I'm going to do is use the scissors. You can see the handle of malleus, which we saw in the CT. See the? Can you see the process cochlear reformus, my dear friends? Yes or no? See such an extensive cholestoma. and now i'm going to go anterior to see what the eustachian tube see that see 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 can you see here eustachian tube all of you there's a little piece of bone here which you should remove drill so these are all very important my dear friends ha huh? you cannot have any compromise the patient will have a discharging ear later hmm see that now 
Okay. Now I can see the facial now. Can you all see the facial now here, all of you? Yes or no? I'll show you the facial now in very high power. Oh, give me a drum elevator. Can you see the facial now here with the petrosal branch of the middle meningeal artery here? See here. Can you see? Take his hand. Yes or no? See, it's, that's the first genu. It's turning here. I just wanted to show you that. Very nice. On World Hearing Day, it's a nice case for me to demonstrate. Okay. Now, I just want to take off all that anterior pitta panning. Uh, uh, give me a scissors now. Now, what I'm going to do is a little granulation sitting on the facial now. I'll do that last. Uh, scissors, scissors. Yeah. I'm going to cut off the processes. I always say cut it off. Don't retain it. If you retain it, you might leave behind cholestoma in the anterior part. Now I'm going to see where the past tensor is. See. Now. Wait, wait, wait. Where is the past tensor? You can see here the past tensor. Can you see here? All of you? Can you see the past tensor? Now I want this is the past tensor. Best part of it is I have not damaged the middle mucosa at all. Now I'm going to resect this part of the past tensor along with the handle of malleus. You understand? Give me a, a small scissors. So I don't want cholesterol there. So see here, I'm going to resect this part of the pars tensor. You understand? So that I will not have residual. So don't do blunt dissection again here. It should be a sharp dissection. You understand? So that's the past tensor here. You can see here. Can you see or not? See that. Now that's the handle of malleus. That's the handle. I don't want that because I don't want to leave behind any residual cholesterol. Yes, correct. Okay, that's it. So having done that, I think most of my cholesterol is gone now. Can you see the process cochlear reform is so beautifully? Now I'm going to separate that granulation from the let us see where it is sitting. Maybe a cell. Not very sure. Oh, okay, that I've cleared. Okay. So the facial now is slightly anterior to it. Uh, give me a hockey. Hockey, hockey. These are all perilabyrinthine cells. You understand? A small cell only. Can you see that? Small cell. Yeah. So that's not the fission now. The fission is slightly behind it. Anterior to it, I mean. Okay, now I think I've done a full justice to the perilabyrinthine cell block. Of course, we have covered it with the periosteum. Okay, fine. So this is done. So the last part of my dissection would be what? The lateral canal, right? See, the lateral canal, before that, what you have to do is you have to see if, don't open up the endosteum. If you have a, uh, lateral canal dehiscence. sometimes what will happen, only the bone will be eroded and the endosteum will be intact. So try to preserve. See, that's the facial now there. See how I'm doing it now. This is with the... Everything done with the hockey stick. To me, I think this is a magic instrument. This is cholesterol. Can you see how I'm removing it, please? What is this called? This is called the principle of traction and counter-traction. Good. So that is the last I will remove. Whenever I do semicircular canal dissections, just the suction is doing the work. Okay. Now,
a uh, small overhang. Yeah, see, there's an erosion there. I told you, right? See, see the endosteum now. I show you. See that. See the erosion there. Maybe that's why the patient had a mixed hearing loss. Yeah. That's it, fully cleared now. I will drill it a little bit. Oh, give me a drill. Be very, 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 very careful. I don't want to have any problems. So this is the patient now, that's the lateral canal. So I can drill here. Okay. So that is it. So this is the actually the uh, what we call as the uh, that's the superior canal, that's the posterior canal, that's the lateral canal. You understand? Uh, what cake is that? We get it in the airport. No, what is that called? Muffin, muffin. No, not muffin. The with a hole in it, man. Donut, ah, the donut appearance, sorry. I had a thought block. Hmm. See, that's a donut appearance. Can you see? Clearly seen. Can you see that's a dura here, bluish dura. Can you see here? Okay. So we have completed the whole surgery, man. A little bit, maybe I can reduce it a little bit more. So will I obliterate this cavity? I may not because I don't want to have a second look in this case. Okay, right, that's it. That's the lateral canal, there's no erosion. And that's the donut appearance. Superior canal, posterior canal. Oh, that's the facial now, you can see facial now here. Maybe, yeah. Nicely seen, all very, very beautifully seen. Ah, ready? Now, I'm going to uh, take a little bit of periosteum. So where do I take periosteum from? Uh, give me the this one. I'm going to do the uh, metaconcoplasty. Hey, what the patient will on the table? Ah, give me a knife. You will always have a vein. I told you yesterday also you'll have a vein. So what is the time now? 45 minutes. There's a vein here. Uh, where is Dr. Sandeep? Did you see 45 minutes may? Such an extensive cholesterol. Are you happy, my dear friend? So my staff is holding the that's the uh, auricularis posterior muscle. And you will have a vein underneath it. So, uh, that's the cartilage now. So, I'm going to have a little bit of the cartilage. Just a little bit. I always, for this sort of a cavity, it's always better to do a meato concoplasty you understand because it's a big cavity i don't want to obliterate it because you know the patient has a mixed ear hearing deafness and uh, you have some cells and if you obliterate it i don't know uh it might okay so generally i do obliteration in case I'm very, 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 very sure, number one, not much cellular. Okay, this is just soft tissue which I'm harvesting for obliteration of the, the, the sump effect. You understand? The sump effect. You understand or not? Okay, right. Good, 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 good. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that is one. And then that's a periosteum. You see here, now I'm going to make my incision. See the mirror plasty I make. This is like ultimate. 
this will never stenose. This is the superior flap, this is the inferior flap, and this is the posterior flap. So I have three flaps, see here. Now see that, beautiful, one, two, three, right. Now I'm going to take a forceps, a little bit of the uh, periosteum from inferior to the muscle. See here, this is the periosteum which I will like to harvest. There will be a little bleeding, don't worry. So strips of periosteum I take. See here, this is the strip of periosteum. So one strip, this is for the, hold it. And then the second strip again, I'm going to take. Sir, over, huh? Now, over. Okay, this is second strip. And third strip, I will take from here. So these are all for obliteration. Take this. And then fourth strip, I can take a little bit more. Take it with a knife. You don't want the diathermy to be used here because it will shrink the tissue. You understand? Okay, right. Ah, take this. Ah, now give me a good wash. Fine, I finished, man. Now, the first step is to reconstruct the Ma cartilage which is I will try to reconstruct the hearing. Give me a good wash. How many cotton balls have I kept? Okay, give. Cup A, hey, nala wash could ra. Ma perisa could ra. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is I started at 11.40, huh? 10.40, sorry. What's the time now? 11.30, 11.20. See how nice it is. See, people do mastoids for two hours, one and a half, three hours. What is there? There's nothing. If you do a proper job, max will be one hour. Mm. Forceps. Don't delay me. Uh -oh. A four subs na hagi a gudu. Okay, gudu. Ah, sorry, gudu, gudu, gudu. La pa kame as a spandra. Nam prachana. Now that's a foot plate. Now give me periosteum quickly. One by one give periosteum. So I'm going to do a type three. Ama cartilage which go. Matalang gudu. Kuduma, yeah, yeah, she's delaying me for a cartilage which go. Hmm. Now, this will go into the, the perilabyrinthine cell. See that? Can you see? Clearly seen? Okay, come on. The next will go into the tip cell. See that? Can you see that? So, you will not have a dumping effect. So the third will go into the sinodural angle. Can you see here? All of you? Okay, that is just here. Finish. Now I'm going to reconstruct the hearing mechanism. Give me a cotton ball, please, now. See how beautifully we have obliterated the, not cavity, man. It is only the sumping effect which I have obliterated. Now give me the, a graft now. Graft, graft. So the graft is kept, uh, scissors, underneath that flap. Huh? Who is it? Sunlina. Ah, ah, Anna, Anna, Ah, hold. Now you see, I'm keeping the 
graft. You see, there is no ridge at all. Can you see that clearly? Yes or no? Hold, hold. So, this is the flap. Now, I have to properly clip the flap. See, 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 see. Oh, cotton ball now. Good, good, suction, good. See how beautiful it is. Can you all see that? Ah, could have, could have cotton ball. You are you are delaying my process. The problem is the assisting is delaying my process. Oh. Now I'm just pressing that annulus, the uh, fibrous annulus which I elevated over the pony annulus. So once I do that, you will get the perfect contour. Now the thing is now what I will do is elevate this and keep a small cartilage strut like a type 3 type 3 see if i damage the middle mucosa it's a different uh, one now i have not damaged so you can beautifully keep it here i'm going to just keep one in the hypotepanum just to create a middle ear space see that can you see it my dear friends hmm. you cartilage Give me a knife, quick. Now, this will be the stapes cartilage. This will be for the hypotympanum. See here, this is for the hypotympanum. You understand? So, have a curvilinear cartilage for the hypotympanum. This hypotympanic cartilage is kept to augment the height of the middle ear space. Let's go. Wait. Okay. Now, the next step is to get a Something like a columella. And you have to stabilize it. Using a little pericontium along with it because, oh, okay, right. Now this also goes, hey, yo, take that. Now I can keep another cartilage just to stabilize it, these two small pieces. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. Right, sir. Now I go, hmm, put him on. Why is it so much of blood? Suction, please. Huh? Suction. Hey, China de Kuruma. Now, see here, that is the middle ear space. You can see the foot plate. Can you see the foot plate, please, all of you? This is all just the. Okay. Now, the first cartilage which I'm going to place is to augment the middle ear space. How do I do that? Now, this is for the stapes. This is, see here, you keep it in the hypotympanum like this. It's a, just a cartilage palisade, not to close the round window rib. So, this is the, just to augment the height. This is called the stabilization cartilage. This is the actual strut for the stapes. Now you see here. Hey, suction. Hmm. So that's for the stapes. Good, 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 good. World Hearing Day. Now see that. I'm now placing that cartilage like a type 3. Can you see that clearly now? 
it's clearly standing there. I'm going to stabilize that with gel foam and uh, another cartilage. Just keep this cartilage for stability. Okay, right. Ah, huh. give, 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 give. Gel foam. Okay, give me that soft tissue also. Now I'm going to stabilize that right here anteriorly and then posteriorly. See how beautiful mastoid surgery is. In fact, I love to be an autologist, not a rhinologist. Believe me. I love autology. Now you can see that. See how beautifully there's an impression for the cartilage there. Hey, suction would how was it, Dr. Uh, Sandeep? You liked it? See, easy way of doing all this. Now I'm going to take off this cotton ball. You can see. Hey, take all this from me. Now that is the impression by the columella. Don't worry. Now keep gel foam here, Deepak. Now can you give me the uh, this one, the other soft tissue? Put this soft tissue I can keep here. Hey, the skin na. Lala. Skin na na kekla, soft tissue. Knife, knife. Now I took a little skin as a free flap, right? I'm going to use that as a free skin graft. See that? Oh, this is diseased. See that? Oh, very diseased. See that? I'm just going to use just a little skin. Hey, this could ra forceps could ra. Yeah, tabi chit drga, paad drga. Pudi, pudi, pudi. Alla pudi inside. Hmm, alla pudi. Good. I'm just harvesting a little skin for epithelization, faster epithelization. Okay, and then now hold, hold the skin. I don't want this, uh, this. Hey, here, 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 here. Oh. That's good. Just want to take this part of the skin. This will epithelize the area fast. Man, the soft tissue could have ya. <laughs> and the skin na kudu pa. Hmm. Okay. Now just keeping the skin just for epithelization. This will epithelize very fast. There's a little soft tissue here which I can use to arbitrate this area with a little cartilage. And this graph should go over it. Of course, it will not cover everything. But whatever little it covers, it's okay. Okay, right. So thank you very much, my dear friends. You liked it? See, what is the time? Extensive cholesterol. Okay, I'm coming there to the face time. Five minutes. So it was a brilliant uh, case to start the World Hearing Day on 3rd of March. I'm thankful to all of you for joining me. And uh, give me the glass. So if you have any questions, I would be more than willing to answer. See who are all there. Hey, Sushin is there, man. Sushin. Wow, Sushin. 
so nice of you being a very busy practitioner you are still here ranjana kumari madam can you say did you see from first i didn't see you hello, hello. janaki yes madam hello mr superman <laughs> madam did you see from beginning <laughs> i watch every single video of yours oh. try not to miss it unless I, there's no other way out thank you madam so you saw extensive cholesterol Mm. and then some basic principles don't remove it from the lateral canal last you remove it and then uh, these are all some basic principles which we follow and i think uh, it'll be useful for the juniors not people like you but juniors but we enjoy watching you no your Thank technique you, is as or even better than what it was before thank you madam thanks a lot so okay, i need your blessings bye. and we are yeah. going to start a next interesting case of a tumor in the cavernous sinus causing th a second third fourth sixth nerve palsies patients come from uh, with ptosis from dubai and uh, it's a very interesting case so stay tuned i'll be back with you in a half an hour thank you right bye bye